Hey everyone, Derek Oldensmith here, senior trader over at T3 Trading Group, coming at you with another pro trading tip. For today, I wanna highlight a recent example from Robinhood's earnings to highlight a bigger picture market phenomenon that I've seen uh, occur over the course of my career. This could be a great piece of information to add to your trader tool belt. So Robinhood reported earnings on Friday. Today is Monday, so we had the weekend to really digest everything. That news came out on Friday morning. And the earnings report was abysmal. I got some highlights here. So they missed on their earnings by five cents. They missed on their revenue by about $5 million. But here's the big whammy. They issued downside Q1 revenue guidance of less than $340 million versus $438 million expected. That has been a death sentence for growth stocks recently. It's one thing if they miss on their EPS, it's been something entirely different if they guide down. All that the market has cared about from these growth companies is, well, given that interest rates are going up, are the companies actually growing? So we have consistently seen over the course of the last several months here, when a growth company issues downside guidance that they get absolutely and utterly Destroy. So Robinhood stock price for a little bit of background reference, the IPO price was $38 and is now traded to as low of about $10 on just this past Friday, right after that earnings report came out. And it actually has an all time high of 85 bucks. So just from the IPO price alone, the stock is down 73%. Stock being down 73% is obviously terrible, but it's actually pretty in line with what we're seeing from most of these growth type companies right now, as the market has just absolutely punished them in an environment where everybody's afraid of interest rates increasing. On these abysmal numbers, where we have consistently seen these growth companies when they issue that downside guidance get completely taken to the woodshed. What happened with Robinhood? Robinhood was set to open Friday morning down about 15% or so. Pre-market, it was trading below $10. I actually called out a trade setup to my team before the market opened for a Robinhood buy back through $10 when there was a little bit of a volume uptick. That led to our morning meeting on Friday. And I said to the team, this Robinhood is worth paying attention to because just in case somehow for some reason, the stock for actually to get bought up today, maybe even go positive, that would actually be a really interesting signal from the market. And here is where we actually get into your pro trader tip for the day. So it's a big kind of macro phenomenon that I've witnessed over years of trading in certain market cycles. When the market has been performing really well and all of a sudden that stock or that market that's been performing really well comes out with good news that should bring it higher and it doesn't, a lot of the times that's actually a warning signal that things are setting up to go lower. The stock should have went up. Great news came out, but it didn't. Why? Well, we know that our fundamentals of technical analysis come down to the buyers and the sellers, come down to supply and demand. When there are more buyers and sellers, stock goes up. So if stock comes out with good news and the stock can't go up, what does that mean? It kind of means that anyone who's interested in the stock is already involved in it. And anyone who was short the stock is probably mainly already squeezed out. So if there's no one left to buy, that stock actually can't continue to go up. And that can kind of become a signal. If the stock can't go up on good news, all it might take is one piece of bad news or one little bit of a weaker market to start actually bringing that stock down. The opposite is also true. If a stock comes out with bad news after it's already been going down a lot and can't go lower, just like what happened with Robinhood, it's actually a potentially interesting signal that maybe, just maybe, the selling in the stock is done. Anybody who was still gonna be willing to hold Robinhood from a move to from $85 to $10 or the $38 IPO price to 10 bucks, anybody who was gonna bail out on, on Robinhood by that point, probably already bailed out. And the people who wanted to short, they're probably already in the position, they're probably making good money. As a matter of fact, on Friday, we saw a headline come out from Interactive Brokers that they ran out of stock to short, another telling signal. So what did Robinhood do that day? Robinhood staged a massive intraday rally and actually closed green. It had a 28% intraday up move. And now here we are on Monday, 
And the stock is up another 9% right now as I'm filming this video. But I don't understand. They missed on their EPS. They missed on their revenue. They issued downside guidance for a growth company. How could the stock be going up? Is anybody that wanted to sell, they're out already. Stock's down 73%. Market said, I don't care. I'm willing to come in and buy this. The growth might be slowing down a little bit, but at these discounted prices, I'm interested and the stock went up. This actually leads into another really important lesson that I always need to impart to new traders. Just because a stock beat on earnings, beat on revenue and guided well, does not give you any 100% guarantee that that stock is gonna go up. I have seen on every single earnings season in my entire career, companies beat on their numbers across the board and go down, and I've seen companies miss on their numbers across the board and go up. We know that all the growth companies have been absolutely destroyed by a fear of the Fed's interest rate hikes. Maybe, just maybe, it's finally becoming priced in. And these growth companies that are down between 50 and 90% from their 52 week highs, depending on what name you're looking at, have finally found a spot where they can stabilize a little bit. I'm not sitting here today calling a bottom in this market correction bear market that we've been experiencing recently. I'm just saying we have something that's worth noting based on my time in the trading business. If you're enjoying what you're learning, you know what you gotta do. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. We're building this thing out. And you know what? You can become a part of my team. Become part of the pro desk virtual trading floor. Check out the link in the description below. Become a professional proprietary trader with T3 Trading Group. I got an ebook in the link below as well. I'll see y'all out there.